China may still have a lot of ground to make up in most of the world's critical industries, but one where it is no longer chasing is high-performance computing. In 2007, China had only 13 of the world's fastest 500 supercomputers. By June 2017, this number had soared to 160, putting the Chinese just behind the United States with 168. Today, China's two fastest supercomputers can overpower the rest of the world's top 10. The fastest one, called the Sunway Taihu Light, is located at the National Supercomputer Center in Wuxi, near Shanghai, and runs on Chinese-made processors. In 2015, Beijing launched a major new technological strategy, Made in China 2025, which aims to reduce the country's reliance on tech imports for its future economic development. A crucial element of this project focuses on processing power, semiconductors, and next-generation computing. In terms of national security, Beijing has long worried that the U.S. could use protectionist policies to thwart development of critical Chinese infrastructure, and this fear has only increased under Donald Trump's presidency. The U.S. placed a ban on exports of supercomputer chips to China in 2015. The Chinese responded by unveiling the Taihu Light computer. There is, however, an important catch. The faster supercomputers get, the more power they require. Sunway Taihu Light already uses 15.3 megawatts of power, enough to power a small city. Exascale computers, often thought to be computers of the future, will only exacerbate this problem. There are forecasts that by 2040, the world will not produce enough energy to run exascale computers on a mass scale. In May 2017, the Chinese Academy of Sciences unveiled what is called a baby quantum computer. While the machine was undoubtedly a major achievement, it can still only complete one type of highly complex calculation, again limiting its real-world application. Despite the enormous hurdles that remain before quantum computing can be unleashed, China has started the race on equal footing. Given Beijing's proven ability to make up ground fast in conventional supercomputing, it would be unwise to bet against it playing a leading role in the quantum revolution. Should China achieve true quantum computing before its rivals, it may be able to bridge the military technology gap with the U.S. far faster than has been anticipated. Chinese industry would also be at the forefront of technologies that will likely define economic and political power in the 21st century. If that happens, and it is still a big if, it would mark a fundamental shift in the geopolitical balance with China assuming the role played by the U.S. in the last century when American industries and technologies reigned supreme. You're watching Global Trends video reports by Geopolitical Intelligence Services. For full report, go to gisreportsonline.com, where you can find more customized intelligence briefings, reports, and presentations. GIS was founded in 2011 by HSH Prince Michael of Liechtenstein to provide business leaders, senior managers, and policymakers with unbiased, scenario-based geopolitical forecasts to inform their strategic decision-making.